Let's calculate and display Armstrong numbers between two numbers. So Armstrong number is calculated based on the number of digits present in that number. So let me give an example. If user enters 153, it has three digits. So we cube individual digits and add it. If the original number and the addition is same, then it's Armstrong number. If user enters a number which has four digits, so n is equal to four here we then calculate this and compare the results so we shall see how we can do that programmatically using c program so i'll take couple of variables int count the initial value then limit uh, reminder some limit uh, i have taken limit maybe temp num and n so i'll ask the user to input the initial value and the limit that is two integer numbers that is count and limit starting from count till limit okay that's how we program this so while count is less than or equal to limit so this while loop keeps on executing until count is less than or equal to limit i'll increment the count value inside the loop so next while i'll take the variable temp if the user enters one two three it has three digits so we need to calculate the number of digits present in the user entered number so first i'll copy the user entered number to variable temp later on i'll divide this temp by 10 so that i'll get the number of iteration that is the number of digits present inside this number so i'll initial so i'll initialize the variable n to zero so the next step is i'll iterate through the number that is the count so instead of taking count directly i'll take num here so i'll assign the value of count to the variable num so i'll operate on this variable num so num uh, reminder of num modulo 10 afterwards i'll add that sum is equal to sum plus power of this reminder comma the power we already calculated the number of digits present in that number user entered by the user so now i'll reduce the number so num is equal to num divided by 10 so i'm using pow so i'll include math.h library here so next up uh, we need to display if the user entered if the number we calculated just now is a Armstrong number or not. So if count is equal to the sum, then it's an Armstrong number. Okay. So we need to initialize this sum to zero here or else it will have garbage value so let me initialize the variable sum to zero as well hope everything is intact and it might work let us check that out i'll give one through nine 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 five nines so it will list all the Armstrong numbers between one and 99,999 so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code um, logic and more discussion about this topic also stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you